Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to answer the very simple question that is frequently asked, will manual testing die in the future or what is the scope of manual testing? Now, uh, friends, uh, it has been seen that this is an era of automation. This is an era of hyper automation. We have seen tools coming up like chat GPT, AI taking up over many of the jobs, right? But will it have impact on the manual testing? Is it going to happen that manual testing will die forever in the future? So we are going to answer that particular question in this video. But before that, if you are watching this video for the very first time, please do like, share and subscribe our channel, right? Now, in the past, we have seen that uh, whenever projects used to start, every time the companies used to start with the manual testing first. But now they are starting, they are kickstarting project itself with the automation, right? Not every company, but this has been <clears throat> the common practice that has been found. Now, what would happen about the manual testing? Now, the very first point that I would like to cover over here is, see, 100% of automation is not possible. You cannot automate eat each and everything in the project, in the application, in the software, right? So 100% automation is not possible. That's, that's where the scope of the manual testing still remains, right? Now let's come to the second point. What about the test data? What about the negative testing? You cannot cover all the negative test cases or all the negative test scenarios via automation. For example, if there is a scenario in which you have to test some particular screen after rebooting the machine or after rebooting the VM or some restart action is required. So what would you do? So you cannot auto, you cannot automate that particular thing, right? So there is still a scope of manual testing. You will have to manually test that particular scenario and you will have to update the test result, right? Now, apart from this thing from, um, the accessibility testing. So that brings us to the point number three, right? Accessibility testing, which is not possible enough to automate, right? It is a bit complex to automate accessibility testing. Also think of the scenarios like uh, automating OTPs or performing automation of test scenarios involving CAPTCHA code, right? So that is also not possible to automate. So these kind of things can be covered via manual testing only, right? Now coming to the uh, testing life cycle, right? Whenever you test the application, whenever you begin the application, you, you start testing that particular application, right? You don't have that confidence. Also the stability of the application will be less, right? It might happen that you might not be able to, able to cover end-to-end -end flow also, right? So it is advisable not to start automation in the beginning. So what you, you would do, you cannot sit idle, so definitely you would do manual testing in that particular thing. So these, these are few of the high level points because of which people do refer still going for manual testing rather than, you know, going for AI or automation or hyper automation. Now I have also listed some other points apart from that. So let me just share my screen and showcase you. Okay. So these are the other high level points that uh, will also support that manual testing is not going to die today or sooner ever. It would be a part of the testing as and when required, right? Now, see, if you want to gain the information from the system or application, we generally do exploratory testing. We learn the application, we learn the behavior, we learn the flow of the application. So we do manual testing in that. So manual testing is normally the first thing you do to gain information you need from the system or application developed, right? In case of complex testing, in case of complex application, you will still start with the manual testing, right? Software testers job is to ensure that will be delivered, would meet customers need and help on solving the issues. We can never skip this work. It is just who to do it. So let's say tomorrow, if any customer comes up with some query or they raise a ticket, it might not be a part of your automation. So what you would do, you would have to cover it via manual testing only. The more complex we build the software, think about, uh, you know, not the simple e-commerce applications or simple one flow applications. Think about applications with more permutations, combinations, with more kind of flows, with more kind of scenarios, right? So in that, again, 
we will have to do the software testing only, right? The manual testing is the first gate for any of the software, right? Now, it might happen that you might enhance the skill set or you might enhance the way to do testing. You might involve some of the new tools, new some of the new techniques to do testing, but manual testing will always be there. It's not going to be getting replaced by any of the AI tool or any of the hyper automation. Even if you want to write the code, still you will have to learn what you need to write, right? So that's how the manual testing comes in the, into the picture. Now think from someone who is a fresher, who is not having any knowledge on automation. So what he would do being hired as a software tester, he would do manual testing only, right? So eventually then he might learn automation and he might cover scenarios which he used to test manually, but he will have to start with the manual testing. Any application, any program, any software you take from the world, it would require manual testing as the first gate keeper for the quality, right? So this um, was the video about whether manual testing is going to die or what would be the future of manual testing. So definitely future of the manual testing is bright enough that uh, you can take it as a career and you can pursue it as a career and you can stay assured that it's not going to die even it's not going to die immediately it might take some time and as and when required the new tools or technologies can also bring up in the market once once again the fresh air of manual testing right people might uh, think from a different perspective and then they will do testing but again they will have to do manual testing first before doing automation so this was the video about uh, whether, whether manual testing is going to die in the future or not and what would be the scope of manual testing only. Yes, see, if you have five years of experience, if you have six years of experience, I'm not telling you to just stick to or just rely to manual testing only, right? You will have to learn test automation skills, but that doesn't mean that you will stop doing manual testing. Even people who are having experience when they don't have uh, automation work in their project, they do manual testing only, right? Think about security testing, right? That can also be done, that can be done via manual testing only because you cannot automate few of the uh, credentials, right? So that's how the manual testing plays a vital role in the software testing industry. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.